The beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, Mark 1.1. 1, 1. That verse, it's very important that we remember it, that Jesus is the Christ. It means that he is the Messiah. God sent him to earth. What for? He sent him to save us from our sins. He promised this long ago. At the time when Mark wrote this, his book, he was using a reference from a prophet from the Old Testament. And he pulled this out. Mark, he finished writing his book all the way through. What did he do? He made his way to Egypt and he preached in a town called Alexandria. Mark, he set up a church there. He not only preached, but the people watched Mark. They watched his life, what it looked like, his Christian life, and he was a good example. Not only did he write and preach, which was good, but he did this work for the Lord. Now we'll study verses 2 and 3. As it is written in Isaiah, the prophet, Behold, I send my messenger before your face, who will prepare your way. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. Mark 1, verses 2 and 3. We read that first, Mark said, as it is written. Then he pulled a verse from the Old Testament from the prophet Isaiah. As it is written in Isaiah the prophet, Mark 1, 2a. The verse from Isaiah that Mark pulled out. Let's read it next. A voice cries, In the wilderness prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Isaiah 43. Isaiah, he is one of a few prophets that God would send to proclaim the coming of a man. Who is this man? John the Baptist. Isaiah, he wrote this 700 years before Jesus was here. We will study in the future more about this. But right now we're going to put it aside and we're going to look back to Mark chapter 1 verse 2 and 3. As it is written in Isaiah the prophet, Behold, I send my messenger before your face, who will prepare your way. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. Mark 1, verses 2 and 3. Isaiah the prophet, he would send out his message that there would be a coming messenger. And this person, was be John the Baptist. The word straight from the Greek language is euthus. It means straight away, straight away, or immediately, immediate. Euthus, straight of direction as opposed to crooked, upright, immediately. Mark, he used that word 42 times in his letter. In other Gospels combined, this word, it was the same word, it was used only 12 times. This was compared to Mark's 42 times. Make straight or straight away. It means to, to, to make the paths straight, not crooked. It means to believe in Jesus immediately. The goal, he knew, was to believe in the Messiah, who Isaiah told of long ago. The gospel, we should not just be lackadaisical about it. No, we need to know, to know, have the knowledge of what the gospel is. How do we know this? We read the Bible. We, we listen to the preaching of the word. We learn the word from preachers and teachers. It's important that we study this and we learn this. 
Let's look at this verse. It's clear why. So faith comes from hearing, and hearing through the word of Christ. Romans 10, 17. There it is. Trusting comes from where? Hearing the gospel. How does salvation happen? Hearing the gospel. The gospel of Jesus Christ. What does it mean to believe in Jesus Christ? Simply, it means to trust Him, that God sent the Savior for us. He is the only one who can save you and me from our sins. If we do not trust Jesus, we will die in our sins and go to hell. We have to listen to the Word, read the Bible, listen to preaching, teaching. Why? Why must we do this? For us to know Jesus Christ, have faith in Him. If we don't know him, how can we have faith in him? Go straight. Go straight to learn about him. Go straight to Jesus so he can save you from your sins. Jesus is the only one, the only way.